انا اخو الفيزازي مش في فيديو زوز East. Take a really, really close look at that. And I'm going to zoom in for you. When they return to New Zealand, these flights prove the inland areas to be features of the character with a dome. 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south, longitude 90 degrees east. Now, if this doesn't make sense to you, let me show you with an image of what a flat earth map would look like. Now, this is what latitude 80 degrees south would look like on a flat earth map. As you can see, the dome comes down closer to you over the wall, which would be about 13,000 feet. Now, if you go back out into the center of the Earth, or up the North Pole, and try to go up to the firmament with a little bit of calculation, it's going to show that it's about 385,500 feet away. It's really, really simple, folks. Now, if you're not familiar with any of this at... Once harvested, the energy would inevitably have been drawn down into the top larger portion of these domed structures. When examining many of the interiors of these domes, we come to realize that they rely heavily on symmetrical ornamentation. This is achieved by indentation or cavities in the masonry. In the world of electromagnetism, a cavity resonator works through symmetry to produce oscillation or vibration of energetic particles. Symmetrical shapes force energetic particles or ions to vibrate in a constant manner. Is this why we see perfect symmetrical ornamentation within the ceiling of many domed structures? It no doubt sounds absurd, but the majority of these structures also feature a smaller type of cavity resonator or what is more appropriately termed cavity magnetrons that offer some clarity as to the real function of these structures. A cavity magnetron is a high-powered vacuum tube that generates microwaves using the interaction of a stream of ions with a magnetic field while in...